All right, hello everyone. So let's take a look at what we've got Tuesday. Now remember, Monday was a swing day for gold. And I did say if the market comes down, you can go long with this one. Now we did have 2,303. It didn't get there, but at the Astro Hour, it did push up. And you can see at those Astro Hours, it just kept pushing, pushing, pushing up all the way into closing. So that came in there. Now today we also have news. Okay, so let's take a look. Here we are. Now, what's going to happen here? We've got two opportunities. Overall, the trend. Let's see. Overall, the trend is up. Okay, so all right. As you can see here, the market's kind of going up. And this is that kind of goodbye kiss. That's the overall trend. The other thing is we have a breakout on the weekly which has got potential to come down into HCL1 which is 2290 which is there and the other thing is we can go all the way up into 2386 or 2462 uh, which is right there now Monday Tuesday being swing days two things can happen here if we come back down a little bit going back up and breaking out is an option if we do break out okay that's great we can follow that up into 2394 to 2400 so that's to 2400 2,394 is there. Okay. Now, how's that going to pan out for us? First of all, we have to get above this daily level. That's 51, which is 2,300. And oh, come on. This is really ticking me off. All right. 2,370. No, 2,356. Okay. Oh, come on. <sighs> okay, it's so that 2,356, which is the 5,153. That's also cell level. 2,356, which is there. All right. So this is also, on the one hand, this is a sell level. On the other hand, if it breaks out, we've got potential to go because Monday was a swing day. So buying the pullback is not a bad idea either. And this is not a bad place. You can see the market bought here. Slightly lower is also okay. So I'm going to take this into here. All right. The way the market kind of like shot up. So, these are the astrals. I've already posted them in the members area. If we dip it down into here at Astro Hours, it's okay to go up. Because it's Tuesday, I recommend you wait a little bit. Um, because the good hours are going to be, well, this is not a bad hour. This 9.15. It's going to be there. Okay. Um, it's not a bad hour where the market will probably start to let's turn this into 8.45 yep 8.45 alright so this zone so if we dip down a little bit that would be nice okay um, and also yeah, the market can also sell from the high. So you've got to be careful. This is a bit of a sandwich zone. So if we come down first, buying is a better option. If we break out on a pullback, you can go up. Okay, so if the market breaks above that 2,356 at the astro hours, if you find yourself coming back down, then going long again is an option. Okay, you can definitely do that. And then that can take us into... A higher level on the monthly you can see it's a new month all right 
we can still push higher into that 77 which could be that 2459 level there 2459 is there okay let's take a look at this uh, euro dollar now with the euro dollar I said remember buying is a good option if the market comes down why because of the breakout okay and this was pretty much the pullback here which is all good now if you looked into that yesterday okay if you think about it okay so we had that 945 which was there whoops that's your 945 market falls down into 1215 is there okay and then we add 218 which is there okay so that's the u-turn there and then we had the news remember coming out at 445 so the pre-news session was 436 435 there okay and then the market blasts up going into target 2345 right there all right now the sell here was good okay the buy would have only been like kind of relevant for us pretty much here when it starts to break out okay and that's about it okay and then obviously this is the pre-news market going up right into there now today if the market comes down going up again I think is a better option simply because now what have we got we've got breakout we've got room to go up into 73 73 which is 1.0970 so we've got targets up there 1.0970 is there okay so if it pulls back going up I think is good now here you gotta be careful where can it pull back into with the news can we have a sudden move we can have a sudden move okay so the market may pull back a little bit um, but here with this okay um, I think I'm just going to put this here again um, because this is a time when we can pull back a little bit if it pulls back into that zone it's not a bad zone all right so this 8.45 to 9.15 also with the euro dollar this um this 130 isn't looking too bad okay with the euro dollar so if we dip down into those zones it's good if the market breaks out and pulls back into 6.30, I'm happy to buy as well. We should have after the 6.30 because news is coming out at 5. 4.45 is going to be your new setup. Okay, 4.45, which is there. This is your new setup, right? Just like this was yesterday. All right, remember? So this is where the news came out. Boom. So this is going to be your new setup today. And then news is going to come out and once the news comes out it should take us at least into 6 30 to 7 o'clock okay that's just 6 30 because then we, because we've got energetic push in the market so 6 30 to 7 o'clock is there and then now this can continue right this could be a continuation rather than a turnaround it can turn but i'm going to punt that it's going to continue so what I'm going to do is I'm going to then if it comes you know back turns around here and starts pushing up again this should be a continuation we want to go with the trend into 1045 okay or 1040 whatever you know 1030 1045 so coming down I think is a good option if we come back into the daily pivot even close this gap would be lovely okay and then we can go back up again now with the daily you can see we're right bouncing on the good bike kiss so it may not come back so that 0885 is an option 
0885 which is pretty much down here all right so 0885 the daily pivot 0885 this zone is like a you know nice kind of zone to buy this was the high of the previous day this caused the breakout so the market coming down a little bit would be great but like i said because we have a pst breakout it may not give us that opportunity all right now after the news comes out is there a sudden move there is until seven o'clock and then towards 8 30 there will be as well but i think we need to go with the flow of the market and that's going upwards so this is also the impulse wave as you can see it's just like going up we might get into wednesday before the market wants to take a dump and that's how it is all right but if we come back down i think going in uh, even going long at the closing price at astro hours is okay but obviously i prefer a bit of a pullback into at least the breakout zone of yesterday which is going to be around here 1.0885 now sp500 now this is nice okay remember we talked about the levels yesterday okay so let's take a look here this is sp500 now here if you if you played your cards right that's your 945 yesterday and then we add this level yesterday as well 325 is here that's your 325 let's say 330 round it up to 330 and then we add what 435 right and then we have 435 let's say yeah, 435, 440 around here. And then the market dumped into this. Now, I did not have an Astro Hour at this time. Okay, I had the 615, which is here. Okay, so the market came into that. And then I said the target is 2345. Okay, so that was the target there. So I had no, I had no Astro Hours here. I was like, what the hell is that? so i don't know how that panned out okay or why this happened at this specific hour which is eight o'clock so i don't know why that happened but if you sold the high you should have been okay and well in the money you would have definitely covered the trade definitely covered it by the weekly period because that's exactly where the astro was as well and if you let it run and ma managed your you know trade you should have been okay now with the weekly all right we're still pushing up as you can see it's a little tricky now we've got this move here which is fine okay so i don't mind a breakout it's all good and on the monthly we've got room to push up we can still go up no problem and on the daily two going up is also not a problem all right so i don't mind um breakout pull back in to sell oh uh, sorry to buy is not a bad idea so we're right on the edge there if we break above the high of yesterday any pullback is okay to push up also if you want to buy again okay where should you buy well first of all look on the daily the resistance is right there right now okay so we're right there and it's broken above it on the pst and that level is 56 which is 5288 5288 has been done okay so that's how it is so the market has got potential to kind of like push up if it comes back into the daily weekly pivot i think it's also okay to buy it's not a bad idea there's a slight gap here but this is good as well 
so from here the market you know has does have potential to kind of push up so at the astro hours if you want to like in london or whatever um work on that um 9 15 like i said is okay um got the 10 40. now 10 40 i'm not sure if i've got 10 40 on there but um just bear with me this is 1045 um, it's just a it's a level where you want to keep an eye out okay for that um, and the other one is obviously like I said um, 130 and you need to set your trade up for the news which is coming out at five o'clock you need to be on your 445 here on your setup okay this is the pre news setup time 445 once the news comes out it should push at least into seven o'clock once it pushes into seven o'clock I suspect it will carry on and once it carries on it should obviously go to closing and you should um, make sure you're managing the trade as well all right so this is like nice to see and we've got a pst breakout so going with the flow into that 5320 5360 into that 71 which is 5410 is not a bad idea all right so let's take a look at dow jones